Okay, so today I want to cover two aspects. Uh, are you? I will cover that sutta what you had sent, what you had shared. So the first aspect <clears throat> I want to take is that we have now understood reasonably the consciousness and the name and form. I think we have gone through that in a big way, but that's the most difficult part of it. But how to understand consciousness? Assuming that we have got some breakthrough to assume it is that then we have three things to address one is uh, this six sense doors what is called actually it is not a six sense doors ayatana is the field of experience so there you get the experience and the experiencer okay. so in a pali way it is gochara Go is cow, Chara is the fodder. <coughs> Just like how the cow goes in search of the fodder, so these six senses go in search of food. Out of that, five senses are always in search of food. Okay. So the consciousness then makes this uh, fuel and fire to happen. And that's the reason in the Maha Tanha Sankhya Sutta, Buddha talks about six fires because it keeps on burning. So you keep on putting fodder, so it eats, and again you put fodder, it eats. Even in the uh, Putta Mamsa Sutta, he talks about four kinds of food. Again, it is fuel and fire. Okay. So, what are we going to cover now is that this Salaitana Pasa. Vedana, Tanaha, these four, which goes in circle actually. It's not that after one or the other is going to happen. They all happen. The moment the Nama Rupa with Vinyana happens, it has to have an experience. To get an experience, you need to have a place for experience. And that place of experience is the Ayatana. So we have Chakka Aitana, Sota Aitana, Ghana Aitana, Jiva Aitana, like that. Six Aitanas. In the Burmese tradition or in the Ubakin um, Goenka tradition, they teach about how you can see the Aitana of the Kaya. Yep, that's the nicest thing to do because the gross can be easily experienced than the subtle. Out of the six senses, one sense which is really gross, which can be looked into because we already look at the body all the time. This guy. So it has its own consciousness, which in times also they say body has knowledge, body knows what to do. So that is because of the consciousness. Yep. Body has its own conscious ability. So that's the reason. In medicine, they say the body heals itself. They don't know how. It is because it's because of its own consciousness. It doesn't get involved with any other consciousness except for the body. If I fall down, meaning if the body falls down, instead of calling I am falling down, if the body falls down and it has some bruises, so what happens? It automatically heals. Right? If there is a throat infection, there is a nasal congestion, if there is whatever it is there, that consciousness knows how to deal with it. What's the point? It has gochara. It, has a, it knows what to do. I don't have to go and teach it. So if there is a pain, like if I do like this and there's a pain, if I stretch, if this body is stretched, it knows what to do. But the point, that's a very key thing we need to understand. So when I sit for meditation and I am looking at the body sensation or sensation appearing in the body from head to toe, what am I doing is to be a witness to that consciousness which is doing whatever it is doing. 
and that's the reason you can see as a witness you have nothing to do with the body consciousness any questions here before we go to this linking between the consciousness six consciousness which are there with the alaitana passa vedana tanha yes bobby this uh, <clears throat> consciousness you know at, uh, and uh, there are this uh, ayatanas like there are six but that is what you say is it uh, like you know uh, works uh, all of them together or is it work uh, uh one one at a time for example when you're seeing or this uh, awareness is going into your attention is going into uh, some object of form is the other consciousness are working or okay good question have you heard about background processing no okay so in computer we have background process i'll give some examples now i have opened up this browser okay behind the scene meaning behind this browser there can be other application which are open but this is the prominent one but that doesn't mean that they don't exist but the dominant one is at present whatever is conscious about now if i if there is a conscious experience of the body the remaining four not the fifth one the not the sixth one that mind consciousness is always there with this but as far as the other four goes they go into the background so when we say or when i say i can do multitasking it's in the background and it seems like you are seeing it seems like you are hearing it seems you are tasting right so let's say um hobby i'm gone on a jog i love jogging let's say i'm jogging when i say i love jogging what it means is that i have a conscious experience of jogging on the road so many trees and road and this and that are happening but i'm if i am connected with the body consciousness all the other goes on to the periphery they just fade away yes or no let's say your friend is also jogging he is coming in the front and you don't see him because you're lost in your jogging and he says hey bobby and then what happened that consciousness which was in the body is stopped broken and the ear consciousness takes over at that moment you can't feel what is happening in the body is it it true or not it is yes then you hear and then the hearing consciousness goes away then you see then hey hey i'm sorry i was i was jogging i i i could not hear you yeah sorry yeah how are you so so what has happened the eye consciousness ends comes back to ear consciousness that ends comes back to the tongue conscious or the vocal for that you require what you require the vitakka vichara this vachi sankhara is coming from where from the thoughts so i got a thought of my friend or you got a thought thought of your friend in the comes in the frame of existence that is in the mind so it appears simultaneously in the mind as well as in the ear in the mind as well as in the eye in the mind as well as in the body so then you are coordinating now and let's say he has come very near to you he has bought one perfume uh, which you like let's say and then you say hi nice perfume why because the smell has touched and then you are sensitive to that all of these are separate separate consciousness they are not the one consciousness this is where sati asked this question to the buddha in the mahatanha sankhaya sutta i understand this is the same consciousness which goes from trans migrates from one life to another life and buddha gets wild because of this reason 
because each is coming due to a condition so basically uh, bobby when you are in the body consciousness all the other remains in the periphery waiting when you are in the eye consciousness the body consciousness goes into the periphery when there is a ear consciousness eye and the ear and the nose and the body goes into the periphery when there is smell coming then the remaining four goes into the periphery that you have to see for yourself yeah. so sorry sorry so now it at this moment you know now when we are talking that this present now i am seeing this computer screen and also i am hearing the sound so those two things are not happening, happening at the same time no if you are hearing this will fade away little bit it's like it's like you know what i have done there i have made it uh, what i have blurred the background right you can see but it's not totally clear right it's not clear so consciousness also blurs itself it's just a blurring of that right because what is prominent the remaining is blurred so at at, at one point uh, only one is prominent at yes, one yes 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 at yeah. at and that's the reason we need a prompting like this just, just happened a few minutes ago I was having breakfast and uh, my wife was making dosa and i was thinking about sari putta because i am totally lost in that pati sambiddha magga i is running continuously i am think i am getting a ah wa 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 moments all the time now so i don't know how to express it so she had put one and i don't remember i went into the kitchen to take the second one and we had a little bit of argument i said that i never came she said no you had it and that's practically has happened so then what i did i went and sat there only because now i'm lost with sari putta so i don't know how much i'm going to eat so i thought let me bring my conscious back into the tongue so this uh, anyway that is a practical thing to uh, like understand because now at one point that means that you know even in this type of highest uh, high levels of uh, attainment uh, like you are uh, when you are saying that you are um, uh, Uh, aware or, or you are lost in that uh, saributta's uh, you know exp- exposition but then uh, like others might say that you know you are not aware so but that is not true like you are aware of something right you know you are aware of what you want and you are you are not aware of the other sense organs so for example when i try you know sometimes uh, to marin i talk about dhamma and she she tells me oh no concentrate on driving <laughs> you know so Uh, i thought some background the driving is automatically happening because some somehow some mind knows it or something but uh, i am completely into like you know uh, talking about dhamma sometimes but then some some part of uh, my mind is uh, fully aware of you know where the which the road you know something is happening but uh, so this is these things like if somebody cannot say that i am not aware but i am aware of that uh, maybe you are you are aware your awareness is limited it's not that you are not aware because mind is aware of everything so you got the point so it but my my prominent awareness of that time might be you know focus on what i am talking about dhamma no no wait i'll 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 give you in a proper way you are driving okay mind sense door senses continues on driving unless something in between comes meaning there is a traffic light coming and you are talking to mirin like this and mirin says hey look there is a traffic light and then what do you do you stop talking and you look at here ah now i know and then you continue talking there was a pause between what she said what you looked and what you came back and then looking look again looked at her right there are how many pauses there are three pauses right now let's take this example are you aware of your touching the steering wheel while you are talking on dhamma to mirin and the answer is no right so that means body consciousness is not there yes or no yes 
Vitakka vichara is happening. That means you are actually only in the mind conscious doors, which is always open. Okay, so you are in the mind sense door. So we have mano dhatu, dhamma dhatu, mano vinyana dhatu. Out of 18 dhatus, this is a very subtle and very prominent, very, uh, what I can say, it's a reflector. It can take a limited light and make it big. Okay. So when you are, when you are driving like this and you are talking, you will forget the road. It's only a limited thing. It's blurred actually. Because you when you are talking, you are involved with the talking, then that road seems to be not that prominent actually. Mirin who is sitting next to you, for her it is prominent. She's trying to listen, but she's focusing on the road, right? So now her concentration or her consciousness is in the eyes more than the ear. So she's not giving too much of ear to what you're saying. So yes. sometimes you have to repeat it. Yes. Because she has not heard it. She's not heard it. Yes. She's not heard it. So you say, Mirin, how many times I have to tell you? I have just explained to you the same thing. She says, Bobby, what's the problem if you can explain me again? Like what my wife does. Yeah. What's your problem? So I feel they are not interested. But yeah. actually, for me, this is interesting. For them, that is interesting, right? So now yeah. you see this, the fun. Wherever yeah. the interest is, the consciousness will follow. Follow that, yeah. Okay. But that, that doesn't mean that they are fully aware of that. That attention goes there, right? That's it. It's a limited attention. So now, mm. words are coming, little bit here and there, but her interest is why, why Bobby is talking instead of driving. That's where mm. she is thinking. Uh, fortunately, you are not in India to drive it, so she feels okay. Because in Australia, it is better driving than in India driving. Okay. So because straight roads and not much twist and turn and no cow is going to come, no dog is going to come or a, a, some other thing is going to come or whatever. So you are very sure of that. To that extent, she's okay sitting next to you. But she's not interested in what you are talking. In fact, you are lost in your talks. You have withdrawn all the others. Only the mind sense door is open. Now you see this fun. You think you are seeing because the light is falling on the eyes and also falling on the mind. Mind with a little bit itself, it will create it. It will, it knows that, like, you know, some drunkard will say that, I know how to drive back home. And in fact, he says that I become more aware. Actually, he's not. He thinks because the mind sense door can operate without the other five senses. So it seems. Okay, it will replace the eyes, it replaces the ears, so it becomes like a software driven. So let's say the hardware is not there, but software can still run, right? It can still function unless something comes. Let's say while you're driving, you're driving with good amount of space between the vehicle and there's one mad guy, he just comes like this. And Miriam says, hey, you know. And then what, what, what happened? You didn't see how he came. You say, yeah, he just came. You would have banged him. Then you say, come on, give me a break. I won't have banged him. Because for you to get back to that from the mind sense door to the actual eye sense door to the actual ear sense door, actual nose sense door, actual body sense door, it would take a brief moment. You are shaken up by her sound. Actually, you are talking Dhamma, so you were lost in that Dhamma. And when she spoke to you, it brought you back to that ear. So what do you say? First thing, if, I would, if it is you or me or anyone, why do you shout? Because it's irritating. You are, you are lost in that. Checked up. So you are literally you don't know where you are now. So that is the fear of dissolution. 
when there is a fear of dissolution you will react oh, what happened why oh you just scared me out scared you out what do you mean but that's real it's it is scary because that person died he was in somewhere suddenly he has to drop that and come to the ear consciousness so now the mind sense door has to drop all the things and allow the ear sense door the ear consciousness to appear on the mind sense door which is a pain this is where the suffering is this is a pain now mirin will say you would have banged that car and then you throw volley of words to that fellow saying that horrible guys i don't know who, they don't know how to drive who gave them the license and etc cetera, etc cetera. in india i can understand but in australia like this kind of people i don't understand this i knew that indians are unruly in india but i don't know in australia they can be so unruly anyway thanks and then you drive actually if you see there are three pauses first pause the mind shut down because it will make it has to allow some other sense door to take over so then you got shaken up the first pause second pause the ear sense door it became predominant and then you are seeing you are not hearing to mirin you are seeing what happened so for you the eye sense door became predominant than the ear sense door now there's a competition between the ear sense door and the eye sense door who should be prominent and hence there is agitation in the mind because the mind has to structure it it has to put back whether it will give to the eye or to the ear or to this or that so there is anger and all that is coming because of that or the reaction is coming because of that and that is why it's called sadayatana six ayatana the fodder is the same but all the six cows will jump together to eat it and now the mind feels i am in control that stupidity it is not like that it loses the ownership and it gives to ear ear will finish what it has to do then it goes away then it comes to i like that yes sorry oh, hold on uh, are you let me finish with bobby completely he's still thinking i'm just commenting on the exact same topic i just sure you know, to add on i guess if one is completely mindful completely mindful then this switch does not happen automatically he's giving attention to the ear and then he's giving attention to the eye rather than someone startled right yes absolutely so yeah that it is truly like a magician you know it's truly like a magician exactly so now what to do now you have to capitalize on word called as awareness right consciousness has aware it makes things aware now i'll take the same example what you were saying uh, bobby they are driving or talking dhamma is that the place to talk dhamma road is not meant for dhamma right is mirin interested in dhamma Yeah, I think she is interested in English uh, over a period of that time. That is different. But is she interested in while you are driving and Dhamma? Uh, it, it, it happens in different ways. You know, sometimes she starts the subject. You know, then uh, she like you know also uh, says I'm maybe I'm not concentrating on driving. All, all this happens. You know, it is not that okay. <laughs> she is not interested in Dhamma. So, but uh, yeah, okay, everything mixed up. It is happening. All ah. the mixing. Ah. so then what you do is you become aware you tell are you in form your co passenger sitting i think this is not a right time to discuss on this topic maybe we'll stop and discuss what do you think 
and the person says that's no, okay why why because there's no point in getting burnt out your mind is getting burnt out it has to now facilitate three things at once one it should make the body consciousness to be there which will not be there but it has to make sure there is a body conscious so when you are holding the steering wheel right there is a body consciousness but it's so limited that mind doesn't feel because it is going on to the discussion mode so you stop feeling the steering wheel so the objective here is to feel the steering wheel and that's what we learn in vipassana to be giving only one thing at a time right so you have steering wheel means you are in the body sense door so you stick to that body sense door don't allow the mind to go somewhere else so when we say somewhere else means where it will go somewhere it is supposed to be there in the body sense door holding the driving the steering wheel and when i am changing the gears even if it is auto car so it's neutral or it is forward or whatever it is drive or whatever it is called as i need to be aware so so the six sense doors have to be managed properly by the mind sense door it means it should know when to allow the eye sense door to see the road it should see when the ear sense door should work it should see when the body sense door has to work it should see when the nose sense door has to work it should see when the tongue sense door has to work and it has to see when itself has to work it's a burden so it is it is it is really impossible when you are driving and like you know, for most of the activities that just to focus on one sense door right it is it is really impossible because exactly. you have to use multiple sense door ha uh-huh. so magician is because of that so you have to know the magician that it can do many things at once so we have to congratulate that magician or appreciate that magician wow what a how person he how he coordinates how Amazing. are you able to do this while you are seeing how you are able to give it to hearing yes. is is two separate activities and it's amazing amazing it, but it's also suffering <laughs> yes it's suffering so you just see this i sense door cannot know there is a ear sense door you know that yeah you told that many times yes and you try it out it doesn't know that consciousness is completely different it has got nothing to do with eyes it care a damn about the eye it's only ear only uh, like when you put something in the mouth neither the eye will enjoy the taste nor the ear will enjoy the taste nor the skin will enjoy the taste for all that matter nor the nose will enjoy the taste only the tongue will enjoy the taste it knows this is sweet this is sour and all that can you put it in the ear and say that okay now you tell me whether it's sweet or sour or whatever no it doesn't know it's amazing actually and because the tongue and the mind sense door operate together they, they both open up together the mind sense door picks up that experience whether it is seen by the eye whether it is seen by the heard by the ear whether it is uh, touched by the body whether it is smelt by the nose whether it is tasted by the tongue it will add everything together that is the biggest magician yeah and who is experiencing the mind and who is the experiencer mind that means it will throw out the remaining five senses saying that your job is done get lost now i will enjoy right so that's the reason mind has to be tamed you can't tame eyes you can't tame ears you can't tame nose what i mean say that taming ear means 
you can make them focus on one thing which they are already doing it so you are making sure that they don't trespass which they will not only the mind will trespass so you are making hey i am watching you i am watching you you are eating from the eyes man you are eating from the eyes and the mind will say well, i never ate i saw you eating so mind will withdraw because it can't eat basically mind can't eat it's a mirror image how can it eat yes are you it's just like if you want to make a team functional you like you pinpoint on the the, the manager right? you you forget about the other guys yes absolutely absolutely <laughs> you good example very good example or take a ceo of the company everything is on him all the employees report to the ceo but if the company is not doing well who should be questioned will you question all the 20000 employees or do you question the ceo in the same way you will not question all the five senses you will question the mind why did you allow this to happen and mind will say oh, i didn't know next time you do this i'll give you a ticket so mind will become from unruly to ruly from undisciplined to disciplined and that's all what it is that's the reason buddha says mano pubbangama dhamma mano setta mano maya you see this beautiful phrase mano chitta mano second stage it knows pubbangama it knows dhamma all things mano setta in sanskrit shreshta superior mano setta is no one of all there is nothing to be taught to the mano mano maya manasa padutthena asati va karoti va that is whatever is intended will be shown up where bhasati va by speech karoti va by the body manasa padutthena mano chitta mano manasan the third one manasa padutthena when it appears where it appears when the mind takes over okay the third stage asati va karoti va either it will be by a speech or by the body then if it does wrong thing it gets one if it does right thing it gets another who are doing it it's the five senses who is the policeman here for the senses it's the mind but unfortunately the mind itself becomes an enjoyer he becomes a rapist he should have been a therapist he has become the rapist that's the only problem he just missed it he t h e r a p y i s t he became t h e the rapist he should have been a therapist basically for that only this guy was taken you become a therapist for these five senses he became a rapist for that raping every sense whatever comes he would like to enjoy now some doctor came by name buddha he said you the rapist we will correct you and then he taught the rapist how to be a therapist and then what happened from conditioned 
माइंड बिकेम अनकंडीशन एंड दैट्स इट बट लिबरेटेड यस आर यू yeah i have one clarifying question to ask so let's take an example um someone who likes to eat who's a foodie right wherever he meets people he talks about what to eat where to eat and all that right and take my mom she loves music so she meets her friend wherever she friends she meets she talk about what to hear what song to play and all that right so would you say her verbal like this foodie when he's talking is it the the tone sense door who's doing primarily the talk from my mom the ear sense door is primary the touchy tone kara is primarily from the ear sense door um so this mind he way is sleeping and he does he just allows right he he doesn't take control whoever employee have the loudest voice he just let him speak because anyways he's sleeping yeah just like the sutta where buddha says that there are six animals and one animal takes over and that same thing right so now what happens in this case pudi the tongue has got addicted but it also simultaneously appears in the mind sense too but the mind is the one which is allowing the tongue to take over it could have stopped you have put a break stop you idiot like a pig you keep on eating next time you ask i am going to cut you off i'm telling you and that's it after a few days it will cry and then it goes away and finish like in your mom's case it is the ear sense to for a particular tune vibration he wants it like that so what if the mind knows that there's just a vibration there there's no music playing there and what if this friend of yours or whoever it is knows that it's just the tongue it's not food there as a foodie and then what happens it will snub the tongue sense consciousness shut up sit down and that kind of thing is what what it is called as restraint sense restraint you are restraining the senses from over indulgence Okay. And this, and this dhamma is a training program for the CEO, not for the other people. Not It's for training. the other people. No, no, no. It is only for the CEO, because then every person in that organization is unruly. It's like you know, in school, high school, you would have heard about your become a class leader. Let's say your supposed to mend the students for a day and you know your friends are not going to listen to you you know that even before it was given to you but anyway your teacher felt you are the best right student to take over so she or he said for today you are the class representative you we will take everything from you and all students please talk to this person tell him what you want and we'll do it and you feel ah i got something today yes i am in control no in the same way the mind sense door is supposed to be minding the other five and it becomes a rapist because it doesn't know how to mind the the ear sense door will come and throw some things tantrums And the tongue sense door comes and throws some tantrums. The eye sense door comes and throws some tantrums. So everyone throwing one or the other tantrums. Then what happens? The mind sense door will concede. It will say, "Okay, for once." Eye sense door will say, hey, "You know what? I have it's been months. I have not seen pornography. What do you think? Just once." And tongue sense door will say that it's long time we never had an ice cream. in our house 
and the body sensor will come and say we are not going on a long drive as a there's been long that we never went on a drive basically and the ear sense door will say that i we never went for a music program it's you know this here yeah, there's so much of sound and i don't like it i need a very nice soothing music and the eye sense door will say that you know what is a deal we'll watch a little bit of pornography where you will get all the other things also what do you think and now we, they are pleading in front of the mind says don't please allow us now we will enjoy even you can enjoy you can you know you you you, you can you, you are you are part of us where will you go yes that this pornography proposal will get the most support because yes. all the other sensor exactly are. so the mind is addicted to sensuality right so so the other sense door knows the weakness of the mind so they know that this guy is highly sensual or rather sexual so the appetite in every human being is more on sexuality so they know it can capitalize so what happens the i sense consciousness i consciousness will say look at that object isn't it i swan look at her eyes look at her hair look at her teeth look at her skin my god what do you think and it's appearing simultaneously in the mind sense too also as it appears in the eye sense it appears in the mind sense when i will go to eat mind also will go to eat now gochara it is eating the fodder now ear will say that come on a voice have you heard ah it's music to my ears look look at her voice he said forget it look at her body ah body sensor doll say you see you should touch her then the fun starts what are you just watching there shouldn't we touch her it'll be so nice and the nose sense door will say you know what have you smelled it she's so nice to smell okay enough all of you i will do it for you and that's how the mind sense door gets locked it was the company the company policy got made and uh, take this as a girlfriend as yes. a policy so who is suffering the mind because the rebirth is happening in the mind the five sense door have got nothing to do with this mind and worst thing you are the witness even to the mind is even more worse because mind is also not yours you are the biggest policeman you have appointed your deputy called as mind and mind was supposed to man these five senses and it went hand in gloves with the five thieves and became the sixth thief showing the good side to you saying that yeah we are all very much in harmony don't worry you close your eyes and do your meditation it's very good you sit in jhana forever while we will do whatever we are supposed to do one day this consciousness looked at what was happening it got wild said you know my dear friend why did i appoint you as a ceo because you were capable you were like me you were like me i will cut consciousness from you now you idiot now you're going to listen to me because i will be watching every move of you it says no no you can't do that with ceo and it says that bullshit to your ceo no ceo business you are an employee 
that's it not an owner from today i'm the owner yes go ahead you install a security camera in the ceo office itself. exactly so now what happens thermodynamics is one quantum mechanics is another one so now you have a quanta now these particles will become particles they are not waves so they will adhere to whatever is said so they go as particles two slit three slit ten slit it is the same particle because there is observer effect so what are you supposed to do observer so what is going to say what does he say sakshi observe objectively observe objectively right and that is true because this owner has been sleeping allowing the ceo to do whatever is supposed because ceo was like him you remember when he came to the office first time the owner got surprise hey, wait a second you and me no difference my god is good then i will go to the room and relax while you can take care of them is yes, yeah i am the best ceo ever and he was indeed until he was introduced to pornography till that time he was all okay and now he has got addicted to pornography and what is this pornography pornography consists of five things one sight one sound one taste one touch one smell what else is pornography if you see all of that in one body we call it as a woman's body or a man's body if you see it separate 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 is also pornography and adding this is in beautiful word if you were to say kama chanda and the pali word for pornography if you want to take it it is kama so when i see someone there is an interest because the ceo is interested because he's got used to it he's got addicted you'll see like this something new has come doesn't know ice cream and a human being are two different things he will see ice cream also in the same way he'll see a human being also in the same way and human being all with the other side of it has the same six thieves so that also will look like that ha huh? so now one set of thieves talking to another set of thieves and the buddha that's the reason he says it's an empty village where there is looting going on as true it's very true there is there is nobody in the village the decoits keep on coming taking coming taking coming taking because the ceo has taken over instead of the owner and they made the owner sleep forever now at the death time when there is a witness this owner is woken up wake up wake up how oh, what happened what happened what do you mean what happened you are now going to continue in this life then what i was doing till now sleeping now you sleep again enjoy i'll give you another 6 round of consciousness okay and six eye ear nose tongue body at the memory and you suffer and that is what is this for which for after nama roopa with vinyana sadaitana asa vedana tanha all these four appears all the time because they all appear in sadaitana only asa is in sadaitana 
वेदना इज इन सड़ायतना तन्हा इज इन सड़ायतना उपादान इज इन सड़ायतना भव इज इन सड़ायतना जाति इज इन सड़ायतना जरा इज इन सड़ायतना मरण इज इन सड़ायतना दुख इज इन सड़ायतना यू सी दिस फन जस्ट बिकॉज यू अलोड दिस सलायतना टू अपिया सफरिंग इज कंटिन्यू सो इन समरी पंचुपादान खंद दुख सो वी कॉल इट एज रूप खंद इस इज न रूप नाम खंद इज वेदना खंद संज्ञा खंद संखार खंद एंड विज्ञान खंद तो थ्री खंद रूप खंद नाम खंद both coming together is vinyana nama roopa appearing on vinyana and that's all what it but the point and thanks uh, bobby for bringing that car example it helps so sorry me. in in, na- in nama kanda there is no vinyana kanda no so in nama kanda there is so i thought i thought in nama and roopa like roopa is one kanda and in nama there are other four uh kanda see no that's what i told in including vijnan no, no 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 if you see sariputta's explanation there is a sutta also for that very clearly says and we also gone through that in the paticca samutpada vibhanga also he asked this question what is nama what is rupa even in uh, maha um maha nidana sutta Buddha gives a clarity. What is Nama? What is Rupa? It's only Vedana, Sanya, Chetana. Uh, sorry, Pasa, Vedana, Sanya, Chetana, Manasikar. That's Nama. Now, if you were to put it in a most appropriate sense, it comes into a Vedana, Sanya, Sankhara. You have to do something. So that's the reason avijja pache sankhara it is not avijja pache vinyana avijja pache sankhara that means dependent on avijja sankhara happens you should read it that way pacheya is pratyaya is conditioned conditioned by avijja sankhara happens conditioned by sankhara that vinyana happens conditioned by vinyana the nama and rupa happen so if you look at the panchupadana khanda dukha is first the rupa khanda which has all the rupas then you have a nama khanda which is vedana sanya sankhara that that is the experience this is an experience state from the rupa then you have what experiencer the vinyana is experiencer because it not only knows itself it will also know what is there so it's an experiencer so e experience and experiencer is with relation to rupa even in um, kalaha vivad sutta there is a question asked by the dt when does this end he says when the rupa ends everything ends It's a very subtle thing, and then he says, "Sanya sanni, visanya sanni, no pa sanni, na asanya sanni, sanya nidana hi papancha sankha." Because of this perception itself, the loka papancha comes into existence. Nidana means origin. That's the origin. so we can see in a very nice structured way is samatha vipassana samatha is the part where you slow down the ceo i come on come with me come with me no no those, those children come no it's okay come come so you make the mind go through the pain of observing the breath because it is never watched its own breath 
बिकॉज ब्रेथ इज कनेक्टेड टू फाइव सेंसेस यू रिमूव द ब्रेथ ऑल द फाइव सेंसेस विल डाई इंस्टेंटेनियसली तो फर्स्ट टास्क इज टू इंश्योर दैट द माइंड ऑब्जर्व द ब्रेथ एज अ विटनेस तो समझ बी पर्सन हाउ यू सी वॉट्स हैपनिंग वेयर द आई सेंस स्टोर इज गोइंग आई कॉन्शियसनेस वेयर द इयर कॉन्शियसनेस इज गोइंग वेयर द टंग कॉन्शियसनेस गोइंग डोंट रिएक्ट डोंट रिएक्ट डोंट रिएक्ट तो वॉट हैपन्स दिस एनिमीज फाइव इन नंबर who had be friended with mind sense door the mind sense door will put them into prison because of the witness and the remaining five sense door what they will do they can't do anything on their own they have to seek permission of the jailer okay the jailer or the jail representative will now say to the i what to do otherwise i can't see ears cannot hear nose cannot smell tongue cannot taste body cannot touch okay so this is discipline all the three bad things by body speech and mind body speech is the cause for the mind to react so first you cut the body speech action itself so then what is there in the mind abhijja it feels jealous that is gone because of the five senses it was feeling that is gone vyapad it stops putting bad steps wrong steps then michcha ditti is gone So then it's corrected. Mind is corrected. Now you throw that CEO back into these five people. So you first cleansed the CEO, that idiot, and then you put him back. And you see what happens. These five idiots thought that my friend has come back. So they will start giving him all the detail what all they did. and this new ceo in the old body will start taking action and then what happens these five senses are killed anta killed and when they are killed mind is released vimukti right and when the mind is in vimukti तो विमुक्ति राइट माइंड विमुक्ति राइट इट हैपन्स ट्वाइस उबतो भाग द पन्या अराइव इन द प्रज्ञ इन संस्कृत इट्स अवेयर नाउ द ओनर इज वेरी हैप्पी ऑल इम एज गॉड इफ यू विश गॉड इन हेवन ही इज वेरी हैप्पी हा हा now i have the real copy of myself right and that's it so god father and holy spirit trinity so you can put it like that now the jesus here is the mind and it killed all the other enemies yes are you good there's father the holy spirit and and, and who son. what is father son. son and the holy spirit jesus is the father oh the god is the father god is the father the, the servant of the father is christ son okay and the holy spirit is the one which makes makes this 
person meet yeah. the father the trinity that's the holy spirit so what are we doing here is to bring the holy spirit in the mind so that it can meet his father in heaven at present we are meeting everyone in the hell so now you through this cleansing process you go to heaven uh what is the word or something like uh bod bodhicitta or something like that yeah or, you can consider a bodhicitta is in the mind just like the sun had that is the mind had all the powers it had all the powers but it lost the power because it got engaged with the five senses five thieves yes initially it's having so much fun with these guys and then when you show dhamma it realizes the consequence yes i see oh i cannot have more fun cuz i'll be in trouble so he start to take care the owner made sure that the employee knows that he is not the owner even the mind is not you for that matter only the father is the father right i am just a messenger mind is a messenger of whom of the god but you cannot say that i am the god that looks absurd like that and hence there is a trinity and for the trinity seela samadhi panya again trinity you see this one <laughs> see same one like that so the practice here is not to allow the sadaitana to happen because they are going to go into the gochara indriya gochara gochara is go is cow and chara is the fodder if you take the cow it will search for fodder if you have fodder fodder the cow will come throw the fodder the cows will go away then field is empty and hence they write in english sense field sense fear and all that because it's going around in circle right the cow will keep on grazing that land that piece of land where it thinks that is where it has to go yes uh in the context of the indriya samvara uh, is it proper to say these five field is more dangerous than this mind field or there's no such cut the five field and the sixth field will automatically stop if you try stopping the sixth field it will overpower everything because it is powerful it is all powerful so you first have to cut these five fields and the sixth field will not do anything because it has got used to this five friends this like this you have five drug drug peddlers right friends they put them into into prison okay. now he doesn't know how to get the drug a few days he is going to suffer and then after that he gets used to it so he will go to alcoholic al anonymous like that uh, maybe drug rehabilitation camp and then get de drugged of the drug what was there now you see this if you have those five friends it's never going to happen yes go ahead no that's what i was trying to say no much how much dhamma are you here if you're still hanging out with these friends uh, they will right. they will change your perception they say that see my dear friend you still see we are all porno addicts so don't worry so you know we should enjoy and the mind will also say yeah you are right even i want to enjoy this because of this you know this dhamma i am not enjoying 
I don't know who made this Dhamma. Let's throw it. Let's enjoy. Enjoy. Okay, so this is, I think we have crossed our time also. So today I think it's enough on, on this and then we will take your Iddipada. Maybe tomorrow or deaf tomorrow. If, you, if tomorrow I'm in office, so if you can record, then we can meet. Otherwise, we'll meet on Thursday. I, I don't mind waiting a little bit because my son anyways is here. Either way, it's fine. But, are, we, are we then meeting tomorrow? Uh, depending on the group. If, yeah, we, okay. we can, but uh, I'm, I'm fine waiting one more day. You're fine waiting one more day. Okay. Yes, Bobby. Or for everybody. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready tomorrow. Like, you know, if everybody else, okay. Okay, then we will meet. Then we'll finish Iddi Pada also. How to get Iddi. Unfortunately, it is called a psychic power. It's, there's a psychic power in that. It's a basis of success or how to get successful. So there are four in numbers. So tomorrow we'll take the Chanda Iddi Pada, Samadhi Iddi Pada, like that. Viriya Iddipada and Imam Iddipada. So, investigation. So again, it, it, yes. Oh, I guess it's just so happened after you're successful, you can get those powers. Yes. But it's not the other way around. Not the other way around. So we will, we will go through that tomorrow. But are you clear now on this Patisamutpada? So what you should cut? Nama Rupa with Vinyana. So what is Rupa is Rupa, Nama is the feeling what you get, the perception what you get and what you do to get that again and again, like an addict, is the Nama. This is Rupa, this is Nama. They both appear in consciousness together, they appear in consciousness. So if you cut consciousness from the Nama and Rupa, it will stop. So then there is no salaitana, six senses, there is no pasa, contact, there is no feeling, there is no craving, there is no, uh, what we can say, the grasping and then there is no bhava. The six senses will again come back as another being. Can be a human being, can be this being, it can be that being, but it's the same six senses which are coming back, five plus one. Like an SUV with 5 plus 1. So you don't want that to happen, then no bhava. And without bhava, there cannot be anything called as birth. Then the, all the things are gone. That's the conclusion on Paticca Samutpad. Any questions before we close? So we have done what needs to be done on the Buddha Dhamma. As far as the theoretical plus little bit of practical input goes on Patisamutpada with some good examples and we looked at the from the therapist to the rapist and back to the to the therapist. Yes. All right, so shall we end or I still have another five minutes left if you have anything to talk or question or clarify. It's a very important topic on entire Buddha Dhamma is on Pati Samutpada. It was interesting to know that uh, uh, this Nama Ruba, Nama has only that uh, three aspects of uh, uh, feeling, perception and uh, Sangara and Vijnana is separate. So Vijnana, when it is separated from the Nama Ruba, I think it is all good. Maybe yeah. that's what if you if you want to look at like a quadratic equation, it would be rupa plus within bracket the Vedana, Sanya, Sankhara, close the bracket plus Vinyana. Okay. If you go into the SN, Sanyukta Nikaya, and you go to the Khandavagga from starting from 22 dot onwards till 22 point. One, two, two, three, five till there is huge one, right? 
all explains about this five khandas in different different ways okay you will find it if you can't find it you go to vibhanga section in the abhidhamma then you come to pati samutpada vibhanga there you search for the nama okay it is in the vibhanga sutta is all there is in vibhanga sutta also I think Kandavaka will be good to start with. I think I've read that before, but I'll I'll start I'll read the text. But it's a huge one. It's a huge volume of this one. So you in, can in do that. In Samyukta Nikaya. Samyukta Nikaya. It's a story. yeah. But then he he says in different ways. When you start reading one, you know, you you'll get an understanding, and then he repeats in many ways, right? No, no. There's no repetition. It is depending on the mentality of the person who is reading it. Each one is different. <laughs> Like in the case of Khajjaniya Sutta, so, so let's say I am scratching like this. My this part of the nose keeps on irritating, and I keep on rubbing it. From my childhood, that's a, at least from teenager, I have this problem. Okay, now I can read Khajjaniya Sutta because that is very perfect for me. Khajji is a leprosy kind of a person. Neurosis? No. Ajji Bharati and the lies right. Neurosis is different. No, you have that uh, redness of the skin. What do you call that? Psoriasis. Not. Uh, you are saying cirrhosis. I was wondering what cirrhosis got to do with this. Psoriasis. Sorasis, yeah, that is correct. That is khaji. The sorasis. That means the skin becomes too sensitive, and it you keep on rubbing, 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 rubbing. Okay, that is khaji. Khajjaniya sutta. So rupa, vedana, sanya, sankhara, vinyana is like that. You keep on scratching, it will never go. Again, it comes. Again, scratch. Again, again, scratch. Again, it comes. Again. So that is the meaning we have to get on the samsara. You no matter how much you do, you keep on coming back. It comes back. It comes back. It comes back. It comes back. It's frustrating, but it comes back. So for me, that is sutta. I don't have to read any other sutta because I am having irritation all the time near the nose. I keep on rubbing it, rubbing it, rubbing it, rubbing it. it doesn't it? Never goes. Right? It is so frustrating. But then that's a sutta for me. Beautiful. No matter how much I do, so he says uh, that just like somebody is tormented on the skin, he keeps on pulling it, and there's a vedana, there's a feeling. Then there is perception. Then you keep on rubbing it; that itself is sankhara, right? You keep on doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it and, and, until it bleeds, right? Again, it starts scratching. Again, you rub it, rub it, rub it. Now, don't you get an experience of that? Svinyana. So now you see Rupa, this Rupa. For that you have a feeling. Then there's a perception of whatever. It when you rub it, it becomes all right, and then there's a heat or whatever it is like that. Then you keep on doing it all the time. And somebody watching it will feel that what is he rubbing all the time? That is sankhara. Now you have vinyana, conscious. You, the conscious experience. If as soon as I rub it, few minutes, no problem. Again comes back, and that's the reason it's called khaji, paralysis. It's a issue with skin. It's very highly sensitive skin. I don't have psoriasis, but I'm just giving that example. Okay, so then our time is also over, like the Khajjaniya. Okay, so we'll meet tomorrow then, and we'll continue on uh, Idipada. So you need to record here tomorrow. Sure. Okay. Okay then. Bye bye.